Now starting at wide receiver for Clemson, a 17-year redshirt senior, the only member of Clemson's 1981 and 2016 championship teams, a man who preceded the forward pass, Hunter Renfro. How long have you been here? Like 30 years. My, my hair's starting to go. <laughs> That's how long I've been here. It's been five years, actually, and a remarkable career that few foresaw for a 150-pound, five-foot-something kid out of Myrtle Beach. I won a scholarship. That was my dream school. I'd always wanted to go to Clemson, and when I didn't get it, um, I knew I was going to have to work, but it was just going to be a little harder. And they're just real honest. We'll give you opportunity to come in here and walk on, but yeah, you might not ever play. We had up to like 17 receivers, and I was at the bottom. And so there was a lot of guys in front of me. His first workout, Renfro was mistaken for a water boy. On field, he didn't exactly shine. First practice, I came out and dropped like six passes. And they were like easy passes. They were screen passes. And I remember thinking, maybe this thing is not for me. Shortly after, on scout team, Renfro started to draw attention and respect. And before the 2015 season, his coach surprised him with a scholarship. Hunter is a great example of don't judge a book by its cover, right? Yeah. He's damn sure don't look like a football player. <laughs> Clemson counted on Renfro often that season, especially in its biggest game. My freshman year, I remember being in bed uh, the night before the, the, the national championship and just kind of being like, I don't know if I'm ready for this moment. Takes a downfield shot, right in front of the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! A strike and a touchdown again, it's Renfro! In practice, every rep, he, tre he treats it like it's a game rep. So he treats it like, you know, we're playing in Alabama. He's about to run that switch route to catch the game when it touched tonight. That game winner would happen in 2016. Paul right wheel, rope crush is the, the play call. So when I saw that on the sideline, I knew, all right, it's pretty much 95% of the time it's going to me. What a rip ball, it, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. How long has Hunter Renfro been at Clemson? Long enough to catch more passes than any other receiver in CFP history. Long enough to walk on into school lore. Long enough to become legend. And I think that's the thing about Hunter. He's just enjoying the opportunity he's had there and the time he's had there. No matter who you are, if you're the lowest walk-on on the totem pole, if you go make plays, you're going to be able to play.